tell you a story about when I was a kid. This story might include a squid. Cause things were different when I was a kid. Sharks came to fins, the outstanding bin. When I was a kid, the things you were made were the things that I did when I was a kid. When I was three, I wrote my first script. It was called Dances with Wolves, and it was a story about a guy who went to go live with the Indians. I wrote it up probably a good 20-page pitch, and I pitched it to several movie companies. Finally, Universal was like, Kid, we want to fly you out here to Hollywood. Tell us about this movie. And I'm like, sure thing, but don't bother flying me. I've got a Pegasus. So Peg Legasus flew me from New York to Hollywood and I think 40 people died. Now this was 1989, and way before paintball was popular. So when I went to go do things, Peg Legasis would go bet on the horses at the track. That's what he did before paintball. He never did have much luck. So anyway, I roll into this movie place, and these executives are there, and they're like, tell us about Dances with Wolves. And I'm like, okay, you got this dude. And he's like the Civil War army guy, or whatever. And they sent him to, like, go be with the Indians. But, like, the Indians don't like him. So there's this guy, and, like, he dresses up like an Indian, and he go lives with him anyway. It's like Mrs. Doubtfire, except with Indians. What's Mrs. Doubtfire? They ask. It's this other movie I'm working on. Sh just shut up, I reply. So this dude is, like, living with the Indians, and he totally learns their Indian magic. Like, how to be a buffalo, and how to fly on magic carpets, all that stuff. Then he gets called back to be in the Civil War again or something, and then, like, then he has to take this Indian scout with him. But, like, the Indian scout's name is Seven Raptors. Raptors like the dinosaur, you know? Oh, yeah, and I, I forgot. These Indians can do whatever their Indian name is, so, like, Seven Raptors can turn into six real-life Raptors. But if his name is Seven Raptors, then why does he turn into six Raptors? One of them asked. Just sh shut the fuck up and listen, I said. So, like... They get back to the Civil War place, and these other Civil War dudes are like, Hey, nice Indian scout. And the dude's like, whatevs, because it's like, I don't know, he doesn't like him or something. Like, he's from the North, and they're from the South, so they don't get along or whatever. Wait, the North and the South are in the same place at the same time? Yeah, dude, it's like a battle or something. And, like, the Indian dude, is he's also there, like... Whatever, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't have that part figured out yet. But then, like, later on, there's a part where a guy drops a torch on a bunch of cannonballs, and they all explode. Like, dude, this explosion's gonna go on for, like, 20 minutes. But cannonballs aren't explosive. D didn't, I, didn't I say that part? No, the, the South has cannonballs from the future, so those kind are explosive. Cannonballs weren't ever explosive. Not his future, dipshit, our future. Well, then you go on and on, and, like, then, okay, like, there's this big scene where the Indians and the Civil War dudes all have to fight in the Grand Canyon, and, like, some of them are on bungee cords, so they're, like, bouncing around and fighting and shit. Like, this part isn't in the script, uh, but I just thought about American Gladiators, and so I'm changing that whole part right now. Okay, wait, so why is the Indian guy called Seven Raptors, and he can only turn into Six Raptors? Because, dumbass, f fuck, do you just want me to tell you the ending? Fine! The Civil War dude, from the very beginning, it turns out he was the seventh raptor, and that's why he can speak Indianese. That's why they call him Dances with Wolves. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the details, but the short and the long of it is that eventually they gave my movie the green light. So I went to the premiere and had everyone there. I mean, all the actors from the movie, all the producers and stuff, the press, the media, everyone was there. And I was allowed two invitations, for which was supposed to be for my mother and father. So, of course, I invited my two heroes, Arsenio Hall and the Indian from the Lando Lakes Butter Package. Well, the Indian girl didn't show up. And I'm guessing that's because she didn't like the way I portrayed her people as shape-shifting sorcerers. But Arsenio Hall was there, and we totally sat by each other. Well, we watched the movie, and I am so fucking pissed. They totally changed it. No one was turning into no fucking dinosaur. There was no scene where they find a bomb inside of a cow. And they entirely eliminated the scene where Peg Legasis makes a cameo as Zorro. So this pile of shit 
they call Dances with Wolves ends, and everyone starts applauding. I have no idea why. I stand up, and I start yelling, Don't clap for this shitty bucket of shitty shit. This shitty movie was a fucking atrocity. And the producer stands up, and he's like, Son, we had to make some changes after we talked to some test audiences. Test audiences? What the fuck do they know? Well, they know that they don't want to see a rhinoceros with lava for blood. The fire noceros? Do you know how big of a pain in the ass that was to shoot? That thing wants me dead. I had to pay out the ass to get him to agree to do that scene with the crashing helicopter, you fuck. Three stuntmen died for that scene. I haven't seen the rhinoceros since. He ate four people. This movie is an insult to me. It's an insult on history. And and worst of fucking all, it's an insult to Arsenio fucking Hall. The only reason three stuntmen died in that scene was because you got into a fight with that fire rhinoceros. Well, at this point, Arsenio Hall starts leaving, and then I really get pissed. I'm like, do you see what your shitty rendition of my movie did? You pissed off Arsenio Hall, which is like committing late-night suicide for life. You think Arsenio Hall is some fly-by-night talk show host who's going to be gone in two years, and no one's even going to know who I'm talking about? That's bullshit. Th that dude's around to stay, and you just pissed him off. Arsenio Hall's not going anywhere. He's timeless. You should be fucking thankful. You should be fucking thankful that the Lando Lakes Indian chick didn't show up because she would be fucking busting out her goddamn wizardry and your shit would be fucked. That's when I stormed out. I don't know if you've ever seen Dances with Wolves or not, but if you have, I am so sorry.